I love the new Google Forms, and I love the fact they've updated them to allow for data validation and for using add-ons, and they've added lots more templates. So again, traditionally, you can go to your uh, Google Drive, go to More, and over here, go to Google Forms, which opens a blank form. Um, but if you want to see the fancy new templates, you can actually click over here, um, and then you have options for using the new templates. And if you click on More, um, there's, uh, again, in education, you've got a lot of um, just uh, quick ones. So say you want to, um, the type of uh, talk using data validation, it's sort of allowing for a, a secret code to actually access the questions. There's lots of uses for that. So for instance, if you're doing a self-paced uh, learning module or um, you want students not to um, share the, the form with others, uh, you can actually uh, set up a secret code. And if you need to change the code, you can actually do that. So say we're just going to use a, an assessment um, form. Now, the templates already have built-in name and email, but I don't want to use those. So I'm actually just going to um, uh, dump, dump the names and the emails. And I'm going to add, what I want to do is add another question. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Before I add the question, what I want to do is um, go up here to settings because I'm in a school domain and I want automatically um, logged in. So they have to be logged into their Google accounts in my, my school domain and it's going to automatically collect their um, usernames. So that way I don't have to have them enter it where the data is not clean if they're typing it in different, like first name or last name, or spelling it wrong. Filtering and sorting later is problematic. This is nice. So they have to be logged into their accounts, automatically collects it. Um, and here you can, if you want them to submit it a couple times, you can, or it requires a login. They can only do it once. On the confirmation page, again, you could, this is where you fill out, well, thank you. And um, for completing this, you'll get your score later. So for instance, if you're using Flubberoo, it automatically sends it or whatever. Um, again, here you want them to see the summary or not, um, edit the response, show progress bar. I don't want to shuffle the question order. And I'll tell you why. Um, we can't be, um, I just don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to hit save. Um, and so here's the questions, but um, let's see if I find, so it automatically collects it. Um, so the first question I want, instead of quiz questions, I'm actually going to create um, a text question. So I'm just going to hit add. And again, I'm, if you're having from a blank one, it starts at the top. But here's the secret code, um, secret code. And I want it to be text or short answer. I'm going to require it. I'm going to hit these three little buttons. And I'm going to data validation. And it's going to be text. And it, the options are contain, doesn't contain email, or, you know, I don't, I'm going to say it contains, and here's my secret code. Um, but now you do want to put something in here. So I'm going to um, ask for the code. Because if you don't type something in here, and they try to type something, it's going to show the code. So it's really important you type a, a hint uh, in there. And so now that's set. So now what I actually want to do is I want to move this to the top top of my quiz. It's right there at the top. And the next step is to add a section. So it breaks the difference. So it, when they enter this, it won't go on to the quiz questions. I'm going to add, add a section and it's going to go and then um, I'm just going to call it the quiz. Uh, quiz. Well, let's see. Quiz questions, whatever. And now I want to move this up. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, I can actually move it, huh? Uh, move it. Let's say delete, merge with above. Maybe I I have to put it. There. Yeah. Oh, I, actually, it is right there. Okay. I, I put it. It was there. So here. So here's the first question again. Is the secret code right here? And then it continues to the next section once they enter it it will continue to this section, and then section two, and then again, complete the following, the following. And, and, then, and then here's the quiz questions, and I might use a flubberoo or some automatic grading um, to, uh, to, to grade that. 
So now let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to actually click on the preview. And as you see, it's going to, it's automatically collecting usernames. The answer code set, say I go um, code, type something in. It's not going to let me go further. Uh, it's saying ask for the code. See, if I click there, nothing happens. So you have to enter the secret code, and then you get to go to next and complete the quiz questions. And so this is a nice way to have, um, you know, you could have self-paced modules where they have to get through it. And then in the confirmation page, what you might do, if you have several sections in the confirmation page, um, you, you actually might want to, um, thank you for completing, here's your next code. Next secret code, code to continue and finish the next section. So. And then you, you put whatever it is in there, and then pound 993 or 2, and then save. So then when they click and submit, it's going to give them that next code. Um, and again, if you're using Flubberoo to grade them, you can also have that code in the response when they um, get their grade. It will tell you in the secret code to go on and go further. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I think it's kind of an – I'm really excited about the new forums. It's a nice way to, again um, – just secure your, your assessments and forms um, so people aren't just filling them out. And it allows for more uh, self-paced learning.